Okay, what we're going to do now is I washed this car this morning because it was absolutely filthy and I didn't do the shuts and what the shuts are is the insides of the doors and the hatch. So i um, testing out a new camera here. What I've got is um, went a bit crazy last week and bought some new stuff because our old stuff was starting to get a bit old and decrepit. So I'm just testing out a iPhone 12 and uh, I've got a MacBook Pro as well that I got at the same time and just seeing how that all goes just so I get in the same stratosphere um, Apple environment because I've have not had Apple for a long time, probably about 15 years since I've had an Apple computer. Um, yeah, so let's start on these on these doors on this very very dirty black car just got um, mother's all-purpose cleaner and just some um, Bowden's Bowden's spray wax to finish it off Let's see how it goes so it's been an interesting week um, it's uh, a week that I had the first COVID shot. So, first AstraZeneca COVID shot. So, I felt really bad um, the day after, sort of like after you get a, a flu shot, I guess. Um, but I felt really bad, like just achy, um, cold flu symptoms, and just spent most of the day in bed. <laughs> so, it went. Part of the drive to work is um, they're doing a bit of road works and it's only for about 100 metres but the um, there's just a cloud of, of dust that you drive through particularly if you're behind someone and uh, you know this is just a daily driver this car it's just a car um, it's eight years old now it's got its fair share of little shopping centre remnants of people. People love parking next to black cars. They love parking next to mine in the biggest, ugliest, usually four-wheel drives. And uh, they got stuff poking out of them. And <laughs> it's uh, every time that someone has run into one of my cars, most of them have been four-wheel drive dual cab utes that they just can't see out of or that they're in a hurry um, but i do enjoy black cars they just really look nice when they're clean they look terrible though when they're not um, it's the first car i ever had was a black honda civic and that was when the new 2006 model came out and they just looked like little spaceships i reckon and yeah, sure enough, we had it for a couple of years and uh, some guy ran up the back of us one night and had a little bit too much to drink, I think. Probably about a 60-year-old guy. Um, so that wasn't too good. But yeah, this car comes up really well. Um, it's, it has been a good car. We've done over 70,000 Ks in it. It was for my wife initially. Um, then I bought her the Mitsubishi that I've got parked off, off screen. Um, it's an SUV, sort of a high rider, so it's a lot more comfortable to be in and a lot easier to see out of. This has got really low sports suspension and uh, really difficult to, to navigate our potholed roads here in good old Ipswich. But that's just how the way it is. That's the way it is. Um, wouldn't have it any other way. But yeah, that, that comes up really well. Okay. the um the tires on this as well the rims and the tires this morning because they just get caked with brake 
dust and stuff. So yeah, it's really good to get those nice and clean. So I really do think that a car isn't clean until you've done the shuts. someone and uh, he always had pretty nice cars and his adage was that um, how can I does how, how could he deserve like a hundred thousand dollar car when he when he didn't treat it like a hundred thousand dollar car I'm not saying that this is a hundred thousand dollar car but um, I've always tried to treat my cars well regardless of how much they cost look after them and it'll look after you all that sort of stuff uh, but you know when you've got little kids you can never really keep anything that good I remember you know I think the first new car that I ever bought um, was a Subaru Outback a six cylinder one so it was pretty pretty snazzy at the time and you know within a few weeks the kid would um, ridden up against it with their bikes and put scratches in it and stuff and you know you freak out and you jump up and down but they're just kids they're just they're not thinking along those lines you, I mean you try to train them a little bit as much as you can but kids are kids aren't they That's, kids will be kids Friends of ours growing up had a Mercedes in the 70s when a Mercedes was kind of a really big deal. Um, and I think the first night that he had it, he slept in it because he thought it was so good. He came from fairly humble beginnings like me. And uh, they had disabled kids as well. And I think someone, one of the kids thought he was doing the dad a good favor one day and he started washing the car with a brick. You know, just getting the old brick out, washing it. And uh, the father was pretty cool, I think, and he just came out and said, oh, that's good that you're uh, helping me out, but let's, let's do it a different way. <laughs> I think I would have done it a different way, but um, kudos to him and keeping his cool. Because you just do, you have to do that with, um, with kids. They just think that they're, that they're doing the right thing. They don't know that they're doing the wrong thing. Kids always usually want to please. This is coming up really good. I haven't paid the attention to this car that I should and uh, it definitely shows i can definitely tell you that it shows whoops spilt a bit there this takes um 95 and 98 so it costs a little bit more but and that's i guess that's why people have nicer cars. Would I buy another one? I think, well, this was the first of its shape when it came out. It was um, 2013 and it was kind of a big deal. We had to wait for about six months for it. Um, I don't think I'd buy this shape because it's quite old. I don't think I'd buy the first shape of anything really. Um, wait until the next shape is out because I've heard that the superseded one of this is extraordinary it's a lot more expensive um, but I think it is more expensive for a pretty good reason this time around
were talking this week about um, cryptocurrency. It seems to be one of the hot ticket items at the minute. And it is, I've been around for nearly 54 years and um, I'm not saying that cryptocurrency is not the way to go, but it should be taken with extreme caution. Just like any speculative investment. Because there are so many things out there of so many different ways of people trying to take your money. Um, and it basically relies on someone paying more than what you paid. So a nice way, of, a not so nice way of saying that is waiting for the next sucker to come along. So um, I don't think I'd be putting much into it. I would if I had it to lose, but that's the problem. Most people with this sort of thing, they don't have the money to lose. And when you talk about things going up in value with people not doing much, um, it just usually brings all of the people in that don't want to do any work. I've had to do a lot of work in my 54 years. And um, my dad used to marvel, you know, that, that I had a job that you didn't have to do manual labor. I did at some point, I've been a tire fitter. That was a lot of manual labor. Um, but in an office job, he sort of marvels that, you know, you can make quite a lot of money um, and you don't have to physically use your hands. You just have to use your brain. So he, um, he thought that was pretty cool. Well, that's looking pretty flash. I'll do the other side off camera uh, because it's too hard to get the camera around there. But yeah, it's, um, it's coming along well and looking great. And I'm gonna see how this um, video camera on the Mac, on the iPhone 12 goes. It's supposed to be pretty spectacular. All right, see you on the next one.